Yo, people. What's up? What the hell am I doing? Video is not even on. Sorry. Uh, let's fix that. Move real quick. Uh, I just come back from a trip. Over the summer, uh, my video posting schedule is just more sparse than usual. Please forgive me for that. Oh god, this crap line. I don't know why I do this. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna play the boring crap. Had enough. <laughs> we'll just play the classical. I know a little bit about it, so I can handle myself. I'll do this one. They're both. They're both fine. I had a simul game in this line recently. Uh, it's not usual. I think with the queen, I can't even remember. Do it. Because now after e5, queen d. In the tempo. Bishop e6. I don't know. One or something. Threatens uh, bishop c4. I can also just go knight d5. I think that's right. In such positions, I feel like this is what you do. And I feel like I have a slight edge, but. F7 squares tender. Let's see, can I find a trick? Like bishop h5 and then some weird tactic. Eh. Blitz, let's have fun. <laughs> Fg6, I really don't know. I'm um, thinking some bishop move and then rook f7 sack somewhere. Like bishop g3, pawn takes, rook f7, king takes. Somehow that's going to be mate, right? Let's think. Bishop g3, pawn takes, rook f7, king takes. That's going to be it's gonna be mate, obviously. I don't know if bishop g3 is the best move, though. Bishop h6 looks more appropriate. <laughs> Whatever. I wanted to be able to fight knight e5. That's what it was. But it's, it's like a trick move, I think. I don't know. See what we can come up with. Because he's not going to take the bishop. He's not an idiot. Rook f7, knight f8, rook f1. It's probably too dangerous of an attack. Um... So like, I don't know, knight e5, bishop f8, something like that seems reasonable. And at some point I might just move my bishop away like a, like a chicken. Alright, bishop f8, let's see. I take it. 7, king takes, queen f5, probably not. Might well, be interesting though. I'm just going to move my bishop away. Seems too crazy what I'm doing. Alright, I gotta take it. Now, let's think. I want to trade one pair of rooks for some reason. That I can't quite comprehend. <laughs> Good analysis. Um... I don't feel like I had some big attack, and this way, e4, c3, c3, I don't know. Uh, queen f3, bishop e6 ideas, he's gonna go bishop g7. Ooh, excuse me, what? A little sleepy as usual. So bishops of opposite. Except I would like my bishop here, but there's a pawn there. Maybe I should sack that pawn. Yeah, maybe. A queen h3 is interesting, but then if he takes bishop e6 is too strong for me. So he won't fall for that. Because I actually want that pawn off the board. I want to be just swing the bishop here and then torture him with a good bishop. Um, I've been looking at some bishops of opposite color middle games, and what I found is, is in these positions, when you have a pawn on d5, the, the bishop loses a lot of Potential. Mm. It's tempting, but not really good at all. Alright, just uh, queen, bishop h3, or bishop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. I'm probably gonna play this, the wussy move. e1, not so. Alright, I'm gonna play the wuss move. 
I promise I just want that I want that pawn gone. I don't this pawn if I could just get my bishop to d5 and a pawn on c4, it reminds me of the game Karpa Halifman? Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of from Lenari's 1995. So now, but the problem is I do have this pawn and I don't see how to get rid of it. Make a hole in g3 just for my king. But, you know, I, if I didn't have this pawn, I'd be doing well. Let's think, folks. Let's think hard. Is b4 too weakening? I don't know, maybe not. Getting stuff in the e3 square, that's probably too weakening. Alright, I'll play like a wuss. Um, I don't know what to do about this position. Rook e1, no good. Rising move. Much. Just to activate the rook, I guess. Yeah, I mean, my position is kind of crappy. Bishop d1, any good? Not really. Lord knows what else I'm going to do. Queen f2 actually is a winning threat. Well, not winning, but he'd have to go like f5 or f6. Go for the. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to doubt attack something. Um, that doesn't work, so I'll go back. Oh, I should have blundered my... I should try to find a way to blunder my d-pawn. Oh. Like I'm close to blundering it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um... Ah, uh, he's not going to take it. It's too obvious, though. Bishop b3 gets the f-pawn. But now I'm stopping the f5 square, so queen f2 is... And the thing is, I need to not have an immediate idea after he takes him d5, so that he actually thinks he's winning a pawn. Because then he might just do it without... He may not have the positional understanding that the pawn is... I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to trick him into taking it. But right now, it's like, if he takes it, I immediately... Oh, I can immediately... <sighs> now I'm confused. I can take and go bishop b3, then he can go rook d2, rook f7. That's, that game's a little tricky. Maybe I should just go queen f2. I should probably just take it. Nah, let's just go for long term diagonal stuff. It's kind of risky. I probably should have just taken the queen and went bishop b3. You know, we're both low on time. Maybe I'll get lucky. Um, queen b6 allows stupid rook one. I'm gonna go d5 also, making my, my bishop not as good as I want it to be. Yeah, okay, this is not good. I should have not done this. I should have. Uh, queen b6 allows... Uh, I'll just do it, because if rook e1, queen b5. Okay for me. Uh, his bishop's strong, though. Like, bishops the opposite are strong. and Because he, he can do the bishop e5 to g3 battery. So, like, rook e1, queen b5, take, take, queen e1, bishop e5, stuff like that. But I can defend against it. Um... I shouldn't think too much here. Again, I'm trying to maneuver my bishop to this diagonal. I dream the entire game. Okay, and he stopped me, but my bishop is still on a good diagonal. Um, there. Where's my queen? Oh, here. Pressure on this guy. Attack that guy. Guy. Alright. Check me. Like mate almost. Jesus Christ. Um that was bad. The plus side he has ten seconds. He's trying to find a mate and he's unable to. I 
Yeah, gamble. Three seconds, who knows what's gonna happen. Not even a, a check his last move. I mean, this is just a blitz gamble, obviously. Mm, I mean, I played ambitiously when I shouldn't have, and I won because of it. <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, very interesting game. Look up Karpov Halifman, you'll know what I mean. Karpov Halifman 1995 Lenares. I just looked at it today, honestly. And so I knew that this d5 pawn was a, a thorn in my side. I mean, you saw I started to get some activity here. Attack this pawn. Um, yeah, okay, this is losing. I had to do something to stop where he won, but it was a time scramble at this point. e5, more winning. Um, yeah, maybe not. It was nothing like too super obvious. There was no like super obvious checkmate, so that's interesting. Um, like early in the game, like yeah, I was trying to beat him into taking this because I thought it would give me some active play that would be fun. I mean, this seems you know this is a draw, of course. Like the bishop's the opposite, just a dead draw. And if rook d two, I was looking at this. I mean. Position seems all right. Like he moves the king, I take him. I can take him b7 actually. So I, I I don't know that this is any bad for me. Yeah, computer says I'm fine. I mean king h8, but like can I do this? He takes. Don't I have this check? And king g h7. I don't understand. This is bishop e5. He's down. He's just down a pawn here, but supposedly he has compensation. I guess if here now he can take, and if check king g7, and he's like slightly more active pieces. I mean, probably the right way to play is just to like, like bishop d5, just try to trade rooks. If he wins a pawn, it's a dead draw. The bishop's the opposite, ensure that. So, I don't know. Interesting stuff. <laughs> Whatever, I win. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye bye.